Thank you to be here. So I have the um, lovely task of uh, introducing um, a couple people here and this um, labor of love that is Hunters, that is a show I'm very proud of and we're all very proud of at Monkey Paw. Um, <clears throat> you know, I want to talk to you about, uh, for just for a second, about um, one of these people that I'm going to introduce who is uh, a young man by the name of David Weil. And I met him several years ago. I met him you know, maybe five, six years ago, long before Get Out was uh, made. And I had this idea for Get Out. And we sat down. It was a general meeting. I don't know how we got introduced. I think you know, through our agency. And, and um, we just hit it off. And I was telling him about Get Out and how it was this crazy idea no one was ever going to make. But I was dedicated to writing it anyway. And he, I, I saw this spark in his eyes. And I knew he had a project like like that. He had his version of Get Out, and he was telling me about something. He, he didn't really tell me about it yet, but a couple years later, after Get Out, he starts telling me about, about the project, and he gives me the script, and he created uh, a, a story, and a saga, I should say, um, that is not only uh, well-researched, well-prepared, but it, it, the emotion he invested in it is clear, and it my, I, I saw myself, in, this is so stupid, I saw myself in him <laughs> because I knew he had a story that was about representation, that was about personal social catharsis, and it was a story that um, I wanted to see, and I had to see, and I knew we, were, we had something special. So cut to here, this is, you know, two, many years later, um, we have something I'm very proud of. So I want to introduce him and another uh, very special producer who was on the project shortly, shortly after and came from when it was just a nugget and a seed of a show and a wonderful script. And she helped uh, David and, and all of us bring life to it as well. So let me introduce to you uh, David Weil and Nikki Toscano. Give it up. Give it up. Come on in, y'all. Uh, growing up as a Jewish kid on Long Island, I feel like I had two Jewish superheroes. There was either Judah Maccabee or Jeff Goldblum, um, and, and no one really in between. And so I'm, I'm thrilled to share with you a story about superheroes we rarely uh, see on screen, Jewish superheroes, black superheroes, a Japanese-American superhero, a band of others reclaiming their power, uh, donning capes and masks and, and seeking revenge, justice, an existence in a world that often denies and exterminates them uh, at a time when we need uh, heroes more than ever. Um, but so too did willing this story into being take a team of superheroes unlike any other. Superheroes, superheroes like Jen Salki, whose courage and vision and chutzpah made this wild dream a bold reality, whose unrelenting support has been felt every day and whose incredible team, Vernon, Albert, Mark, Cara, Donna, and so many others have been Hunters' boldest supporters. It takes a team of superheroes like Jordan Peele, who I've been so privileged uh, to be on this journey with since day one, who with his otherworldly talent and kindness and boldness and mentorship has been, along with uh, Wynn Rosenfeld and Chris, Ian, all of Monkey Paw, the, the greatest champion of this story and this series, and without whom this would not be here. Uh, there's superheroes like my grandmother, my Safta, Sarah Weil, the greatest superhero I've ever known. She was a young woman who struggled and suffered and ultimately survived Auschwitz, Birkenau, and Bergen-Belsen, and whose stories, often over a bowl of chicken soup uh, about her experiences, inspired every frame and, and every beat of this story, whose stories were weapons and seeds that carry her truth into the future and now will forever remain alive with hunters. And of course, uh, superheroes like the incredible crew, many of whom are in the audience, and these amazing artists, these actors, our partners, Superheroes like our giant of a leader, a man of the greatest talent and kindness and care, Mr. Al Pacino.
Dylan Baker. And the superheroic Nikki Toscano. Thanks. I have the really easy speech, so I'll just get right to it. Um, I just want, wanted to take a minute to thank our incredible cast that's up on stage and the incredible cast that's sitting somewhere, I can't see because I'm completely blinded, um, in the studio audience tonight. You know, one of the things that I always say about this project is that everyone has brought a childlike enthusiasm to tackling this material and this incredible, incredible cast and our incredible crew. Um, who, who, who brought this to life are, are, are no exception. Um, so I just want to say thank you to the cast that's in the audience and the crew that's in the audience. Um, and, uh, and thank you to um, David Weil, my eternal partner in crime. We hope you enjoy the show. Thank you.